welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome Beetlejuice wreath using mesh and other decorations from the Dollar Tree and the face I printed out on my computer. I'll show you how to use that in the wreath, but if you have a Halloween mask, you can use that as well. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Let's get started. So first off, what you're going to need is one of these 14 inch wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. You're also gonna need some mesh. And for the hair, I wanted like some really obnoxiously bright green. And I do have some of the green mesh from Dollar Tree, but it wasn't as bright enough as I would have liked it to be. So I got some of this from Hobby Lobby. I got two rolls of this. It is five and a half inches by 30 feet. And this actually should be plenty enough for what we're trying to do here. I also have black and white Dollar Tree mesh. Now these are the holiday colors. So these rolls are five yards long. I know a lot of the different colors of mesh, they're, um, they're shorter. They're, you don't get as much on a roll. But for each one of these, they're five yards. I have two white and two black. You're also going to need some scissors, some pipe cleaners, and some zip ties. Now, for the face. Waha! <laughs> this is really super simple. And I'm going to tell you two different ways that you can do this face, okay? So first off, to get this, I went on to Google, and I just looked up Beetlejuice face. And there are a whole lot of them out there. And then I put this on my computer, of course, into an imaging program, any kind of image adjusting program you have, like um, Microsoft Publisher, anything like that. Now let me measure this right quick. It is from right here, that was his hairline, down to the bottom of his chin, it is 10 inches. And I think that's gonna be a good size for our wreath. Now I printed this out onto cardstock, and from that point, you can get a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. Put your layer of Mod Podge on it, put your face down and let that dry, and then put another coat of Mod Podge on top, you know, to seal it. And then of course you just cut it out so that you have your face. For me, I happen to have a thermal laminator and I use it quite often in things like this. It looks like this. It's a really simple little machine. You remember laminating stuff in school? Let me set this on the floor. But that is what I did for mine. I just laminated it so that I wouldn't hurt it if it got wet. And then I just trimmed it. I'm leaving about, ah, I don't know, about half inch. So, you know, if you have kids or something, you know, these little machines, they're really nice, but they're kind of fragile. They're, <laughs> they're about as fragile as my ex-husband's ego. So, you know, you don't want to drop them. You don't want your kids to bump them. Be very careful. They're also <laughs> about as hot-headed as he gets. It will burn your hands. So please be careful if you use one of those. So what I'm going to start doing here is I'm going to start working on the bottom, kind of like his, like his suit collar. And of course, you know, where do my scissors go? You know, Beetlejuice's suit is black and white. So that's why I have the black and white mesh. Let's set this out of the way. So this is my rolled method. I'm just going to roll the mesh up into little tubes and then cut it across. You see how I did that? I just took the end of the mesh and I just rolled it over on itself just a few times until you get a little tube like that. And then we're going to cut across because we are going to alternate black and white clusters of mesh across the bottom. All right, so now I have three pieces of the mesh and now you're going to take a pipe cleaner you're going to cut it in half and then you're going to take that half and fold it now take one of your pieces of mesh and just roll it up like a tube hold it between your fingers take another piece of mesh roll it up like a tube roll it and hold it like that now roll up your third piece and hold it like that now take this half of a pipe cleaner and just sandwich all of your mesh in between it, just like that. Try to keep it in the center if you can, and then give it a good twist and that makes a little cluster. So now let's get our wreath form here and we're gonna be working, like all of my other wreaths, we're gonna be working around these 
two bars here in the middle, okay? Not the outer ones, because then your mesh will have a tendency to, to tilt. Work it around the two right there. Just wrap your pipe cleaner around those two, and then give it a really good twist in the back. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. Okay, twist to twist to twist. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the white, and I'm gonna alternate the clusters. Black, white, black, white, black, white. I'm gonna put 10 in this section and 10 in this section, okay? So that we have two sections filled up with the black and white. So I'm gonna work on that, and when I get finished with these two sections, I'll come back and we'll start on his hair. <laughs> so hold on just a minute. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Like I said, I did two sections of the wreath, 10 clusters per section, and this is how much on the rolls of black and white I have left. I used one whole roll of black, one whole roll of white, and this is what I have left over on the second roll. So we're just gonna throw that in the floor. We'll pick it up later. Anyway, I have a lot of people that ask me when I make various types of wreaths, well, why don't you put your sign on first? And there's a very good answer for that, and the answer is because I don't want to. <laughs> for this one, what I wanted to do is to get the mesh on, you know, and then I'll put the face in here and kind of angle it and mess with it, you know, just to see exactly how I want it positioned in relation to the mesh. But anyway, now what we're going to do is for the rest of this, I'm just going to fill it in with this green here. And we're going to make clusters in exactly the same way. We're just going to roll the little pieces up just like we did a while ago. Cut them. And you're going to have three pieces to make a cluster. And you're going to put 10 clusters in each of the other sections. Now, while I'm doing this, let's talk about decorations. I mean, it's Beetlejuice, y'all. Seriously, do you think Beetlejuice has ribbons and stuff dripping all over him? No, he does not. You know, if you want to put a bow on the bottom or something, you know, go ahead and do that. More power to you. But what I think I want to do is, come here, boy. The green here, like this nasty, mossy-looking stuff everywhere. I do have a package right up here. Watch me knock some stuff down when I move this of this floral moss from the Dollar Tree. And I have some little plastic spiders and whatnot that I think I will use to decorate it. Now with this moss, what I wanna do is I put a little bit of glue here and put a little bit of moss, uh, maybe some here. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that because of the mesh. I don't know, we'll work on that later. But I know I wanna put a little bit of it right here, you know, just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension, the third dimension. <laughs> All right, anyway. Let's make one of these clusters with our green mesh. I know I do want to stick like some little plastic spiders on it, you know, somewhere, just to give it a little something, something. But you know, if you want to put a bow tie on him or something with some Halloween ribbon, I think that would be cute. Not that Beetlejuice is cute, but you know, do whatever you want to do with your wreath. <laughs> Let go. All right, so now let's twist. Twisty, twisty, that should be enough. Ooh, we have some fraying going on. And yes, you can cut your mesh with a wood burner if you want to, to help cut down on the fraying. Whatever you wanna do. All right, let's get the face out of the way. And now, just like we did this part, I'm just going to take the green now and just start working all the way around. And this is gonna get rather monotonous because we're not changing colors or anything exciting like that. So just like that, slide it down up against the other ones. And then the rest of this is going to be green. Once again, 10 clusters in each one of these little sections. So I'm going to work on the green part. Then we'll come back, we'll decorate the face a little bit with the moss like I was talking about. I'll see if I can find my little plastic spiders to stick here and there. And we'll put it all together. So hold on one minute. Alrighty, so. Like I said, I wanted to glue some of the moss onto the face here. Would you get off of there? And what I did is I just took some hot glue and I put a little line of glue, stuck the moss on there, and then I kind of just used my fingers to kind of manipulate it, you know, so that was kind of like in a line instead of like just a big blob right there. Alrighty, so now I also have my X-Acto knife. And what I did is right here and right here, I just cut a little slit right there and right there. 
and one at the very tip top. And that is so I can use zip ties to run through there and attach it to the wreath frame. Now, you know, if you're using a mask or something, you know, it'd be a lot easier. Um, you could use pipe cleaners or wire or whatever you want. But with this, with it being thin, I thought that a zip tie like this, you know, just run through these slits would help it to not buckle or, you know, like break through and like rip out or whatever. I also came across this bow that I had in my Halloween stash over here. And, uh, you know, looking at the wreath, I wanted to have a little bit of something else kind of at the bottom, you know, so that it wasn't all mesh. So let's get the wreath over here and see what we've got. Let me get my little plastic spiders out of the way. Oh, for heaven's sake, everything's falling down. This is the wreath so far. So four of the sections up here were filled up with 10 clusters each of the green mesh. And then we have our black and white mesh down here. Where is my bow? And I think I like it better with this bow right here because if I had the little spiders and everything up top, I think it's gonna make it look just a little top heavy. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna have to stand up for this so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I want to have the face kind of tucked down Let's see, so that I can kind of maneuver it here and see how I want it attached. And I'm just gonna take this and the very first ring down here and try to get this so that y'all can see it. Just the very first ring there is where I want this attached. So I'm just gonna put the zip tie through a little bit, but I'm not gonna tighten it all the way up, okay? I'm just putting it in there just to kind of tack this in place and then I'll tighten it up as I go you know, just to kind of see where I want it to be. So I want this all tucked down so that you don't see the edges. Okay, so I think just right around in here somewhere. Okay, there's the bar down there. And you can attach, if you're printing out one of these faces and using it, you know, you can attach it with floral wire, zip ties like I'm doing, pipe cleaners, whatever you want to use. Just gonna... All right, dude. Now let's see, where's another one? Pack up here. All right, so now let's move it on up to the top. All right, there, I wanna make sure that I didn't cut it too far. Let's see how I wanna get this tilted. Let's just move this mesh up. If I wanna put it on the very, I might wanna go up, because the face is kinda tall, might wanna go up to that second ring up there, which, of course, is going to be a pain in the tushy. Now, as far as the rest of it, I'm just going to be gluing on some of those little plastic spiders that I got from the Dollar Tree. Oh, there we are. Very hard to see at this angle. I'm just going to glue on some of those little plastic spiders that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also, I think what I'm going to do, this Spanish moss that you can also get at Dollar Tree. I think I might just glue a little bit of this here and there in that mesh, because you know, Beetlejuice is all dirty and covered with spider webs and whatnot. So let's see how this is looking. It's looking okay. So I think let's just tighten this up a little bit at a time. You don't want to do it all at once, you know, in case I made a boo-boo. Let's get this tilted this way. And then we'll come over here to the other one. Oh, stop it. Let's see. And then we can just like maneuver it around however we want it. Let's flip him over. Okay, that's looking the way I wanted it to look. All right. So now I have this bag of little plastic spiders. I'm just going to glue some up top here. Then I also have a bag of this moss. I said, I'm just going to, with this, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Just put like a little blob of glue on it. Now I'm just going to like just stick it here and there, you know, just to make dirty it up. I guess you could say just to kind of dirty it up. Maneuver my face around a little bit. Not my face, his face. And now this bow right here has a twist tie on the back. So I'm going to move this up. And I'm just going to take the twist. So I try to find the center here. I'm going to part the mesh and try to wrap it around 
the two center ones right there. I know this is kind of hard to see on camera. Well, I think I pulled my, I think I pulled my face loose on the back there. That's okay. I'll go back and fix it here in a second. It's kind of hard to do on camera because usually I'm like flipping it back and forth and back and forth. Now in the back here, I'm just twisting that twist tie just to hold it in place. And I'll probably go back here on the front like I do with a lot of my other wreaths. Just put a dot, a daub, <laughs> a blob. I was trying to say blob and dab of hot glue on the sides like that to hold it open a little bit more. So anyway, I'm going to work on the bow. I'm gonna stick some more moss every now and again. And then these little spiders, I'm just gonna glue one here and there, here and there. So let me work on that. And we'll pause the video one more time and I'll come back and show you what I got. Okay, y'all, I'm going to call this done. Now for the bow here, I just glued one of the green spiders I had to the center because you know, they kind of green don't show up good on the green hair. <laughs> okay, and then I just stuck the little tufts of that Spanish moss just every now and again and glued that down. And then I glued little plastic spiders ever so often. And there we go. There is our beetle juice wreath. <laughs> I hope that you like this one. I had a lot of fun making it. So if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The least all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.